your donkey of the day. Donkey of the day for Monday, August 15th goes to Steve Lydon. Uh Steve is the former superintendent of the Ramsey County Adult Detention Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. And that's where Derek Chauvin, or as I like to call him, Devil Chauvin, that murderer, that sick, sadistic individual who kept his knee on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Actually, the body camera footage showed it was nine minutes and 20 seconds. But you know the evil human I'm talking about. Devil Chauvin, okay? That's where he was being held at. And back on May 29th, 2020, Steve Lydon banned CEOs of color from entering the fifth floor where Chauvin was being held. Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. America has no idea how to punish whiteness. All right. They have no idea how to punish whiteness or racially motivated hate crimes like this because black people and other marginalized communities dying at the hands of racists like Devil Chauvin. That's been happening since the beginning of time. And this country has absolutely no idea how to properly punish them. Even when they get punished, in the case of Devil Chauvin, they get preferential treatment from somebody, okay? Uh, has this former superintendent, Steve Lydon, never thought about the thousands of black men who have been locked up and, you know, watched over by racist-ass white CEOs? Of course not, <laughs> right? Because a black man being locked up and watched over by racist-ass CEOs is what the prison system is all about. All right, this caste system that was created in America hundreds of years ago is still designed to protect the devil chauvins of the world. Meanwhile, it's been weaponized against us, okay? Us meaning black and brown people, okay? Black people, all right? Which is why several officers filed charges of discrimination with the Minnesota Department of Human Rights and their complaint that followed uh, it was, what, eight officers alleged multiple violations of the Minnesota human rights, including race and color discrimination and a hostile work environment. Three of the plaintiffs asserted claims of retaliation. They alleged emotional distress as well as loss of income. All right. Ramsey County Board Chairwoman uh, Trista, boy, I'm about to mess her name up, Trista Mattis Castillo. She apologized Tuesday to the officers affected. She said the actions taken by sheriff's office leadership that day were more than just wrong. They were racist, heinous, highly disrespectful, and completely out of line. No one should, no one ever should have questioned your ability to perform your job based on the color of your skin. She's absolutely right. And that's why those HCOs are going to receive almost $1.5 million as settlement for racial discrimination. Okay. I think the number is too low. I think it should be 1.5 million a piece, not 1.5 between all eight of them, because this level of care is never given to black and brown people, okay? Nobody ever stops to think about who could be discriminating against us simply because of the color of our skin. But the fact that they are still looking out for this man who is doing damn near 43 years state and federal time for murder is mind blowing, but not surprising. All right, treat that man with the same disregard that you treat black and brown people doing that kind of time for murder, all right? I'm telling you, this country does not know how to punish whiteness. If everybody didn't take it to the streets for George Floyd, then they might have let this dude get off too. All right. White privilege is beyond real. Hell, look at what's going on with Trump right now. Violation of the Espionage Act, obstruction of justice and criminal handling of government records. Not to mention that 10 or 13 times Robert Mueller showed he obstructed justice in the Mueller report. The feds coming to get you, but don't arrest you. The reality is they don't want to arrest him. All right. The reason they don't want to arrest him is because none of these institutions were ever designed to punish whiteness. That is why people like Devil Chauvin can still get preferential treatment from said institutions. Please let Remy Ma give Steve Lydon the biggest hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw. You stupid mother are you dumb? 1.5 right. is too low for eight people. Every oh. single correction officer should uh, be getting like a million bucks a piece. 1.5 a piece. All right. Well, thank you for that, dog.